What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always say truth. Can you get somebody new in front of that camera? Today, I think I was lucky enough to get that opportunity. I think this one of them culture binding interviews right here. So for the people who don't know what's going on, you'll let them know exactly what your name is and where you're from, legend. Yeah, I'll go by Juice the Savage. You know, why I the label. I'm from Southside Chicago. Front Street, you know, uh, 61st Indiana. Uh, most grew definitely. Up, grew up around all my life. Born and raised. Uh, appreciate the opportunity to speak with you, Juice. Yeah, yeah appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, we got Republican in here too, bro. Yo, uh, appreciate y'all having me today, man. It's a blessing. It's an honor to be here. Most definitely. You know, you one of the guys whose name get brought up in songs and shit. We be nosy. Like, who are these people they talking about? But you one of the guys who we hear names and songs and shit like that. You know, uh, Juice, I want to tell you, bro, you know, when I look into the drill culture, it's a lot of artists that they consider drill legends, right? When they songs came out, them years, your songs was coming out, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know that. Why people, sure. you feel like you don't get the respect that you supposed to get, Juice? I mean, niggas know how I'm bumming, you feel me? Why I send the label? I'm still coming, you feel me? You feel me? GB forever, but you feel me? Front Street, we started this shit, man. You know, started all this shit. So, Basically, yeah. what he's trying to say is, um, me and Juice was some of the, like, one of the two original people from Front Street, with alone, like, four other motherfuckers. Everybody think Front Street big now. It, right. Before it was a conglomerate and internet and all that shit, didn't nobody even want to be Front Street. A lot of niggas want to be 600. A lot of niggas want to be what they was on Wabash. I don't, I don't know what that they know. was. But mm-hmm. anyways, let's show you know from Wabash. Y'all know who y'all is. Um, a lot of niggas want yeah. to be other people because our block really didn't never have no recognition from yeah. it. Yeah, right. But this me shit. and Juice was some of the hot. Street. Street, you feel me? Right. We've been doing this shit. You feel me? A lot of shit. You feel me? We right. started all this shit. Like, motherfucker, look up to us like, for sure, for sure. With, a, with not just me and Juice, but with a couple of more people alone, sure. like Gino yeah. Marley, Fredo, you yeah, know, right. Cable, oh Cable Boy, you know. Oh my God. Folks them showed me the roles. The originals. You Those the original people. One more person, Lil Mooch, Sparkle. Shout out Sparkle, right. Free Sparkle, yeah. or whatever the case may be. But yeah, them. It's them, not even true. Them yeah. the people who was actually really rocking and rolling on Indiana and selling bags in front of the store and shit like that. Right. You know, when I look in the drill culture, some of the first neighborhoods I heard about, you know, was Front Street. Yeah. From like Keith yelling them out and Fredo yelling them out. I want to ask you a real question. Um, if both of you can answer this. Did the internet and them songs about Keith, did they make the neighborhoods targets? Was it dangerous after the neighborhoods became famous and them Keith songs? It better before the, you hear me? We found the projects really, bro, like, it, it it was a building on sixty two seventeen South Calumet. It was a Is that building. The Calumet right building? Yeah, the Calumet around? building. Oh, you feel me? That's where I'm really from. You feel me? Right. I'm from the Calumet building, born and raised from right there. You feel me? So I'm from the projects already. So I've been through all type of shit. I seen everything. You feel right. me? At a young age, I've been seeing this shit from from the SWAT team and got him down there. They looking like the army. Coming to raid the, the, the building, the projects I'm in, you hear? Right. At a young age, they waking us up, you hear? Breaking in our careers, you know? It's a lot of people who I'm became touched. famous in the drill culture that I have interviewed in front of this camera that said they from the Cal you may build. I'm not, though. I no, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't get no fuck about that shit. I'm a late bloomer if you want to ask. I'm going to be a hundred. I'm a late bloomer. I ain't getting in the streets until shit. A grade type shit. I ain't have to do none of that shit. Right. Um, fortunately, my people weren't from like none of that type of shit. I choose to get in the street because shit. I felt like shit. Uh, I mean, Fredo asked me one day, like a long ass time ago when I was in grammar school, why did I want to be BD? I told them shit. I like the way BDs govern themselves. Like right. BDs always had a sense of purpose and and, and move like with their own type of like boss tendencies already. You get what I'm saying? So that's why social music was able to go to level that it was going because we was ahead of our time in the first place. You get what I'm saying? Because we was under people who was ahead of their time, like Gino Molly and Fredo. You get what I'm saying? But did you guys know? 
that this was gonna get that big? No. Did you feel Fredo was gonna get that big? Keith was gonna get that big? No. You didn't see that in the beginning. No, we yeah, didn't. We nah, didn't we see that. Just, <laughs> we used to be just tweaking in the studio, bro. Just off the shit in the studio, just recording songs. I'm broke. We just used to be recording songs because, because got them older motherfuckers. They used to be doing that shit, you know, DJing and shit. You feel me? Right. Before you had juke parties and shit, you know, DJ Limo and. Shit like that, all that type right. shit. So, so, so motherfucker first. been here in the music way. So right. motherfucker started just rapping to us that shit. You hear me? And Sosa started going crazy before we all oh, see what it really was. He, he was Sosa knew how to articulate the news from the hood. He knew how to articulate that in a way that people can understand it. Hold on, wait a minute. I ain't get that. That's that's deep. Articulate the news. He knew how to articulate the news. Well, he knew how to report what was going on. And if you from the hood, you you understood. And if you yeah. want from the hood, you want to know what the fuck he was talking about. Like you want to see what the fuck he was talking about. Like right. you know what I'm saying. Like to be honest, I don't know if people know this or you know Sosa ever say this or some shit like that. But you know, like a lot of the shit Sosa rapping about, folk. He talking about what motherfucker used to be doing, bro. Like, right. and who right. are we talking about? And and, and you who is he talking at about the in these songs, that he was talking bro. about? You get what I'm saying? You feel me? He talking about Republican. He talking about Juice and bro. And that was a good thing. All like, folks, them. We could never yeah. repay him for that. Let's just put that on the record. Like, yeah. I feel like I could never Sosa, repay Sosa, pay Sosa him blood. for that. Sosa, 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 that's that's game for him. Ain't bro. no secret because he gave me a platform. For life. You get what I'm saying? He he said forever. This shit stop. He actually, GBE, you feel this shit tattered on me, bro. GBE on my ain't hands. no secret. You know that already, right there. Right. Whole time, stand. Sosa did what uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen the shit. Uh, Jim Jones said, uh, "Take a motherfucker to the water." A lot right. of people he took to the water. Unfortunately, they ain't catch their fish, and I was one of the people that didn't catch my fish as early as I should because. I was just so happy to be at the water. You get what I'm saying? I ain't right. the one thing about no fish. I'm shit. I'm at the water. I'm cool. <laughs> Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, shout out to Sosa. Like, he ain't have to do that. Like, shout he ain't have to put out. my name in shout songs. Out. He ain't have Bro, to fuck man, with shout out. The whole yeah, club. Yeah. Right. We is to go. You know? Well, I'm right. I'm from the front street. No, I get that. And I'm going to get to that. Oh, uh, but why you was saying Fredo? You know what? I'm. A, I want to. I kind of want to fast Fredo. forward a little bit. Long live you know Fredo. Long live Fredo. I kind of want to fast forward. I'm gonna rewind though, but I want to fast forward this because news just broke about takeoff from the Migos being shot and killed in Houston, and the reason his name get brought up not for no clout, but you know I'm a drill historian now. Yeah. Nobody ever asked this question. Can you answer this question? I know please? I can answer what you're okay. saying, probably. Why was Fredo that angry in that video? Which video? This is a video on YouTube where Fredo was like snapping. Yeah. I mean, not, not, not when Fredo snapping. I think that was Capo snapping, but Fredo tweeted out, don't play with, you know, don't be playing around. Yeah, so oh, that's, so you that's talking that's about the incident? Game. Right. game, real life ties. Yeah, you know, Capo was fucking everything around game. the country. So he's fucking with a little bitch in Chicago. I ain't gonna say her name. And she, you know, folks was high in the car, probably sleeping. They woke up to the event. Uh, I guess the little bitch had them to pull up to the Migos. And I don't know, trying to set folks up. Folks in the car sleep. He like, shit, he hungry. They said the Migos in there. He like, I don't get no fuck. Right. Like, I'm going ahead to get some food or whatever the case may be. And right. then that's when y'all seen whatever the that internet. Video he yeah, whatever in the that. internet wanted y'all yeah. to see. That's what that I was saying. Hold that way, folks. If I was with folks, I'm folks. I'm or if he won high, you get what I'm saying. He was high at the time. He just right. not waking up, going in that bitch. I talked to him about it. He just not waking up, going right in that bitch. Yeah, you know how he, he was hungry. Sending he was high. that bitch up, bro. You know that already. It wasn't even gonna be nothing like that. But it was right. good that it didn't go farther than that. Fredo snap now on social media, you know. Yeah. And he feel he he had that leader presence, you know. You actually yeah, did. Now that's not a bro, myth. That's bro. actually the truth. Like Fredo bro, put bro, the whole bro, legend, bro. He put all this shit together. He mm -hmm. really the one that put all this shit together to to the point where he knew how to capitalize off social talent. All right. So Juice, how you meet Fredo? Shit, um bro girl. I used to go to grammar school right there on Wabash. Bessie Ross Grammar School. Oh. So walking from my building, I had to walk past Indiana and I had to go to grammar school on like two blocks down. Okay? And Bro used to always be on the corner and shit. 
Fredo, mm-hmm. it used to be Fredo and Gino Molly. I'm growing and, and, and a couple more motherfuckers are right. Ruski, a couple more motherfuckers. Roll call. Roll call. A couple, a lot of motherfuckers. Wax be on, Amelia. A lot of motherfuckers used to be in front of the um, Wallace. That was the little corner store right there on the corner. Is that where that video was filmed? That we yeah, that's where we were. I'm on that. I'm on that. Blood Money. Yeah. All that. Oh, Blood yeah. Money uh, interview and shit. Right. Yeah, I'm, that, that, I'm on that. Oh, yeah, yeah that interview is right there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. right there. Recipes, blood money, so and Zach TV, right? Blood money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Recipes, don't live blood. Bro. You know, it's big B's forever. You know, oh, that, you know that, that, that. Fruit C's for cap, you know? A lot of C's for cap, too. Fruit yeah. Mm. yeah, though. I, I want to ask you about, though, uh, that hurt when Fredo, you got that news about Fredo. That hurt. The whole world was hurt. You know, I never met Fredo personally, but I was hurt when I heard the news he passed away, you know? Yeah, you know, I never met Fredo personally, but I was hurt when I heard the news he passed away, you know? Yeah, yeah yo, I was in a zone at that time. I was like under the act, like I was that under shit, one of them, fold, like fold, um, fold, bro, those folks, bro. Bro. Yeah, one, bro, one, bro, pick me up from the county, all type of shit. Man, yeah, when I first came. Hey, phone bills, he took care all of me a, a long ass yeah. time. You on, feel me? When, when me and D Rose came from under that that, that drama, and, and, that's my next question. And bro, he picked me up from the county. When bro, he was first of my folks picked me up from the county. Bro, take to his crib. He got pounds there with him, bro. Bro got act. We sipping act and shit. Yeah, I'm afraid. I'm love Freddy Osta. Old bro. time Freddy Osta loved Juice a lot. Him yeah. and Juice had a long That's little bro. run years together. Love, bro, bro. Freddy Osta was the GOAT. He was smart as fuck. He always, before even, we, even whatever we was doing at that time, right. he kept us ahead of the game. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. Bro made my Instagram all type of shit. Um, he made your Instagram. Um, he had bro, he took my if y'all go all the way down, man, to my first picture on Instagram, folk, my first picture is me and bro selfie. Oh um, bro. Soon soon as he came pick me up from the county, he got the Instagram ready on um, bro. He take a picture of me on um, bro. He is yeah, bro. Woo. That's yeah. how, how we rocking on um, bro. Um, bro. You said something about D Rose. You yeah. know Free D Rose, man. Free D Rose, man. Free Rose, You know, when I do my homework, because I'm a real drill historian now, I got sources and people like my YouTube channel, they tell me things. And, you know, I noticed that it was sent to me that, you, you know, when D Rose was locked up the first time and the rappers were screaming his name, he was he was locked up on the case with you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's yeah. my rap, you know, bro. Ten toes down, oh, bro. Real yeah. stand up. Stand up guy, bro. You know how we rockin', man. We ain't saying shit. We keeping our mouth closed. And you feel me? We fighting them cases and we beat them, man. If y'all smart, man, them people really ain't got nothing, bro. They ain't got nothing, bro. I ain't really do nothing. Ain't nobody did nothing. You feel me? So the rumors and the chat on the, the internet rumors about just, it's just rumors. motherfuckers just saying his name. You feel me? And you don't know how motherfuckers be, man. Takashi right. and shit. All right. All right. Yeah, that's what they say. I show to the internet. The internet shows say D Rose is locked up for something he didn't do. So that is accurate. You agree with that too? No, that was a fact. That's, that's a, a fact. fact. 